Within Here we are. Now we're live to the interwebs. Hi, you see me? Yeah. All right. No, we're not live yet. Now we're here. You want the... Go ahead. Yeah. You should be fine in this whole area. The router's up there, I think, right? I might have to head up to the office, but I'll come back down. You have a guy introduced anyway. It'll be probably. It'll be another 30 minutes when we get shot in. No, no, because I'm, having, I'm getting these guys down as soon as Charlie comes. <laughs> no, you need to do the test, then go ahead. No, I don't need It's pretty good. No, it's amazing. But now I get So he can listen to us right now. Yeah. Shit, man. Rob, there's a 30 second delay, by the way. <laughs> Rob, take him 30 seconds. You're a dirty old man. <laughs> I thought at first he was talking about the 360 camp, so I was like, hi. It is a No, but not to the world. Yeah, I know. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, when he texted, I thought he meant like that, because I was thinking that camera. And I was like, oh, hey. Because I thought he was making fun of me. I was sitting there trying to get a picture of him. <laughs> Alright, are you good with Here this? we are from the ISU for the third annual. Are you sure? Yeah. 
Are you okay with that? You want me to go put it down? No. So what are you going to do for the audio? You need to do an interview. Just put that out for one. Yeah. Do you want to do something? Do you want to? Do you think you're dark, by the way? Just out of curiosity. So gay. <laughs> hello, hello, testing, testing. Here we are live from the ISU World Figure Skating Championships 26 oh, 2017 now from Helsinki. We are doing a test, test one, two, three. Is the image sharp if I move? How are you? How are you? Testing, testing. Gabriel Delman. Testing, 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 testing. Hello. What do you think? Are you having fun at this event? I hope I'm not actually on camera. <laughs> We're testing. No, it's a terrible event. <laughs> ISU does an awful job. No, what is what is the worst part of it? Probably uh, their communications team. Uh, the people. <laughs> the people. <laughs> Hi, PJ. Hi. Are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. How hos how hospitable are the Finns? Just really? great organization. Love the rink. Love the fact that I can get food here. Love all of the people. Love you. What do you, you think about the people of the ISU? I love them, too. Someone's got to organize this dog and pony show. Do you like the logo? Or is it too old now? It's not that it's too old, but you know me. I love a nice sparkle. So maybe some sequins? Okay. Maybe we can add some glitter to it. Thank you very much. Nice You're to welcome. see you again. <laughs> No, this is just going to the Jumbo Tron. Oh yeah, great. Charlie. Yeah. Who's that guy? I don't know. Hi,
not doubting you. Thank you for clarifying. I wasn't doubting you. Um, are you It's really important um, that you honor the athlete's uh, wishes and their spirit and that you respect. Uh, he won an Olympic title. That job is done. For him, it's about his And what I admire in him is he never takes the easy way. He's not, I mean, we saw him last year. He's I can be a good athlete. Yeah. No, I'm just tired of talking. <laughs> and he wants me, and he wants me, uh, and he wants the difficulty. So this is something that is very impressive and very courageous. Uh, it just speaks to him so as a person and where he, you know, where he sees his place in the school. It's not just about winning, it's about taking the rest to push himself forward and the sport. Yeah, this is what I One two, one two. M dog. <laughs> M and M. M and M. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can call you M and M, but only if you rap for me. Oh no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have you guys on the green. Mark. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, I gotta get my focus. Yeah. That was mine. Okay. Thank you. So when I watch how he's watching.
I'm here with Michael Martinez of the Philippines. He's completed the entirety of this competition here at the World Championships. He's got a big smile on his face, and certainly one of the reasons why we appreciate you is your positive attitude. So talk about how that helps you as a skater and, and in competition as well. Uh, I guess it helps, helps me a lot to, be, to, push, uh, to push myself and all of my challenges and uh, on skating too. Yeah, and so much of skating is challenging. It, it, never, it, 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 never, gets, it never gets easier. And yet you've, you've had many good experiences and those, those experiences build on one another and prepare you for, for further success. So you're finished. Yes. How, how is what you've accomplished this season sort of affect the way that you enter into next season? Well, I, I'm really happy with my performance for today, and uh, I felt that me and my coaches are really happy with, my, uh, with the landing of all my jumps, and uh, miss a little bit of a couple of the jumps, but it's okay. I'm really proud of it. Good, good. Yeah, and it, the technical aspect, of course, yeah. so much a part of the men's sport. And the, yeah, the quads, it's like, it's almost insane. I mean, if coming from an ice dancer, it's actually insane. Yes. <laughs> so how does that in, inspire you, motivate you, you know, seeing the way the, the sport is continuing to progress? Will you try to, you know, really attack those, those quads? Yeah, um, me and my co uh, coach are really happy to say that me and, uh, I've been landing my quad loop and quad toe. I was just really not that confident to put it in this competition but for sure the next uh, upcoming season I'll put it there that's great and I and I know that's it's very exciting but also it takes a lot of energy you know so are you gonna be doing extra workouts extra preparation what is there anything extra or different you'll do this off season you know maybe for the Olympic season well after my performance for today my coach told me that you'll you'll be dead in <laughs> training <laughs> so I should be ready so yeah <laughs> and and that's the way it should be so we, we we're such a huge fan of yours all the fans want you to know that that they appreciate you and we're gonna wish you a huge success with your with your quads so that we can see you doing your best out on the ice and, and bringing a smile to our faces so so thanks so much for your for your work here thank you so much Awesome. Good job, buddy. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. It is easy. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see those quads. Yes. Me too. <laughs> <laughs>
кто был чемпионом мира в эту эпоху, когда катались в Украине Крест. А вот их программы помнишь, понимаешь? Четыре. Там вообще придется сидеть. Я не стоит только позже. So Kevin was good? Yeah, very good. Yeah. I'm here with Stefan Lamiel of Switzerland, former competitor, and now he's a coach. <laughs> Dennis Vasiliev had a great skate here, and we were talking a little bit about the emotional roller coaster of being a coach. <laughs> it's, I know it's difficult. Is it, is it easier or harder than being a skater? Well, it's my first world championship as a coach and I have to say it's a great experience. I was so happy to enjoy his performance. I was so happy to see that all the work has paid off and he's been improving every single competition. He's been improving his personal best scores and uh, I'm very happy with the season he's done so far. So I have to say it's great to be a coach when <laughs> everything goes the way you want. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and I think we've seen just his maturity grow throughout the season and he's done a lot of shows, he's done a lot of competitions, he's put himself out there. Talk about how you're helping sort of lead him through the mental process because that's such a big part of it, right? It's true. I think we are not focusing so much on the mental thing. We are. I'm helping as a coach. I'm helping uh, him to have a stable environment. So he's healthy. He's uh, organized. He has his uh, routine that is stable. And I think when you're calm and quiet and you can work and focus on what you have to do, um, you don't really need to focus on the mental thing. It's the mental thing comes when something is not balanced right. and uh, the I think my guidance is to really bring him into a stable environment uh, and yeah and then focus on what we have to do on the ice yeah and uh, that's that's that those are the words of a, of a, a great coach certainly in the making if not already so now looking at the the event the men's event it's it's really incredible and especially from an ice dancers perspective talk about what it's like watching the the progress that's being made for you it's so impressive I mean uh, not only in the men uh, skating it's in every discipline and I think this world's uh, they were very impressive because all the skaters are working so hard to get into Olympics. Uh, they are trying to qualify their countries. Uh, each spot is important. Yeah. And it's not only about the medals, it's about yourself. It's about going out there and be able to show your best. So I'm very, very impressed with the way they are handling the pressure. They are giving so great performances. We are seeing so many quads in the ladies, so many triple triples. Uh, in ice dance, they are all amazing. It's such a great show. We. Uh, I love ice dance is probably my favorite discipline and uh, and we miss you oh, <laughs> and we miss you too <laughs> this is the point of this interview actually just so that we could tell each other how much we we Aww. miss their competitive skating <laughs> um, but but I think you know the fans the fans so appreciate your skating so so love now your coaching it, it's I think we're so lucky to be able to keep you around the way that we have so we want to wish you luck as a coach and we will be watching all of your exhibitions thanks Stefan thank you 
Charles. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank awesome. You. <laughs> <laughs> That's the great thing about these interviews is uh, we're not going to get too serious. <laughs> Congratulations. You should not. Seriously. Congratulations. Thank you. That's really... Yeah, it's <laughs> so we'll bring you over here. Right on that green. Right there. And you had a great skate today. Yes. Congratulations. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Malaysia. That's. Look at that. It's I'm sorry. Don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Yi. Is that how you pronounce yeah, it? Yeah. Julie. Julie. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. In three, two. I'm here with Julian Yi of Malaysia, and you've just completed a, a fantastic long program. Talk about how happy you are with the, with your performance here at these World Championships. Um, I must say I, I gave it all, and uh, I'm very, very satisfied with what I did. And I'm, I love the crowd here. It's really, really a lot of support from them, and it feels great to perform for them. Yeah, and, and such a great part of skating is that connection that you can create with the audience. And, and of course, it's, it's easier when you have a good skate. <laughs> yeah, so, but, sure. but, but talk about how important the, the audience is and, and, the, and feeling that connection, because we don't get it in practice. It's only in competition, which doesn't come very often. Yes, that's right. Like, my coaches always tell me, uh, you know, you got to give a nice expression during practice I'm like it's different when it comes to competition <laughs> the people are there and That's it's right. someone you're connecting with and uh, that really motivates me during the program itself so it gives me a little extra boost there um, hearing from the crowd and how much support they have. That's awesome and so coming from Malaysia not not a huge skating culture not right so so you so you're getting it started do you feel any pressure or expectations or are you just doing your best to represent your country right um, now? I, it's no pressure at all, but I really do hope to help develop the sport back home and the whole Southeast Asia as well. And uh, I'm just going out, doing my best, and hopefully it makes an impact somehow. Yeah, and, and I, I, I'm internally grateful for what figure skating has brought to my life. Obviously, you know, success is, is, is one thing, but just all of the life lessons that we're able to learn in skating, you know, the perseverance, the, all of those, those important traits that can help you become a better person. Uh, you know, building that in a society, I think, is a, it's a really... It's a great goal. And, and so, you know, is that the kind of thing that you would hope to be able to bring with figure skating? For sure, yeah. Uh, it teaches us like life lessons as well, you know, how to be a, a good athlete as well as um, being a good person. Yeah. And I really do hope that people learn how to be a good athlete. Most of all, it's not all about winning. Winning is a bonus, but the experience you get as well as learning from other people, it's very important as well. Awesome. Well, you, you certainly, you, you sound like a great role model. You skate like a great role model. <laughs> no, absolutely. You, you, you've earned that title. So we want to wish you a lot of luck in your off season and heading into next year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. Hey, really nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good luck. Thank and you. Thank you. Kick, kick some butt. Kick I, your own. Kick your I own butt. I gotta kick my own butt. Kick your own butt. That's, that's, that's how far it goes. That's the way it goes. Thank, thank you, you very thank much. Thank you so much. You'll be able to find it on Facebook and on YouTube. <laughs>
Obviously, we have every every right to be happy. It's it's so nice when you can skate your best, right? When it counts. Yeah. Here, we're gonna put you on the green tape. I'm gonna go up on my toes now. No, 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 you're fine. <laughs> it's okay for people to know that I'm just an average-sized human being. <laughs> I'm here with Kevin Reynolds of Canada. Kevin. You're smiling. You seem you seem quite happy. You you've just finished. Obviously, that's a huge that's a huge deal for all skaters, right? When we when we get through the get through the one way or another, it's over. But you happen to, to skate one of your best programs ever. I think so. Yeah, it's a new personal best for me Be between the two programs anyway. So to put two performances like that, uh, shorten the free back to back at a world championships, absolutely thrilling. Yeah, and and. At this point in your career, you've got lots of experience. You know how to deal. You know, how <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, you know, and and you know how to deal with the pressure. You know how to deal with the expectations that you put on yourself, which is always going to be higher than what everyone else expects. Talk about how you deal with that when you're taking the ice. What are you saying to yourself to really get focused on making sure that you can land all those ridiculous quads? <laughs> right, I, as as much as possible, trusting your training. You know, I've had a long season, probably the longest I've had in four or five years between injuries and equipment issues. But to be able to come back and uh, I think refocus, trust my training, and know that I can do it every day in practice, so why not a competition? That's yeah. what was going through my mind. Yeah, and there's definitely a, a thread of people coming off the ice successful talking about how, how much work they put in in practice, and, and, and I think it's, it's obvious that you, you put the work in when it counted so that you could do it here. Now, you've got more work to do heading into next season. Of course, you, you're going to be setting your goals even higher, as, as you should, right? And, and as you said, this is probably going to be one of your last years, if not for sure your last. I think next year is going to be for sure my last season, so whether it's going to be at the Olympic Games or the World Championships, sure. we'll see how things go. But uh, again, to have a World Championship so late in my career, it's my sixth World Championships, and to put a first and best performance down is uh, absolutely thrilling. So I'll be, I'll be going back home and working hard on what I can improve to see what I can do against those top six skaters who are on the ice right now, but uh, it's a tall order, definitely yeah, not. Yeah, it's, it's, it's such an exciting season, the Olympic season. It comes with a whole sort of new set of stresses with the media and just talking about the Olympics. It, it, I mean, even interviewing someone about the Olympics, I, I start to feel the, the pressure on my shoulders. Again, you have the experience. Is there anything you're going to do differently or just more of the same? I think I'm going to go back and... I'll be working hard on my ice skating ability especially, uh, knowing that I've almost maxed out my technical, what I can possibly do now, I'm yeah. being realistic with that, so I'm going to be seeing where I can earn more points on the artistic side, because I, I do have a lot of improvement, uh, room for improvement with that. Awesome. Well, we're going to be wishing you a lot of luck, a lot of good health. I know that's a, that's a, big, that's a big part of, of being able to achieve your best, so we'll be looking forward to seeing more of you next year, and, and we'll be cheering you on as you take on your last season. Thanks a lot. Great. Right, thanks so much. Awesome, buddy. Congratulations. Right, thank you very much. Yep, yep. Enjoy. Yep. <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah, of course. on the green tape, okay. put a smile on your face. I, I know you have to fake it. Am I looking at you or at the camera? You can look wherever you want. You've <laughs> earned it. <laughs> okay.
I'm here with Jason Brown of the United States of America after his long program. I know he always is smiling, but you have a particularly great reason today. You've skated a fantastic long program. You, you, it wasn't perfect. There's still room to grow, but I think that's another reason to be happy. You, you want to be able to continue to grow, right? For sure. You know, Corey kept telling me this isn't a final destination. This isn't a final destination. It is a process, and it's the next step in the right direction. So I definitely feel great for that. And But I also wanted to end the season with a boom, so <laughs> I'm glad I got to kind of do both. <laughs> yeah, and, and you, you actually, you know, you, you totally achieved that goal. This is, this is you know, for, for a very difficult season, obviously, you know, ups and downs and, and dealing with injuries and the, the, the mental approach, I, I assume, must be quite difficult. Oh but but at the same time, the experience is going to be great in the long term. Talk about what you've learned about yourself as a competitor this season. This whole season has been a roller coaster. I started off stronger than ever, coming back from an injury and really kind of feeling like I was going to make my mark this season, really step forward, and then I got injured again. Same kind of point of this, the season where I got injured last year, and I, it was tough. I was, you know, I felt like I was like on that top and then I fell back. <laughs> you know, and 